Okay, really quick video. I just want to show you one common question that comes up a whole lot. So look at this. You are trying to install TensorFlow or really any package, and you get this. Resolve package not found when you're installing it through Conda. Maybe you've been following some instructions for, in this case, installing TensorFlow on your M1 Mac, and you get this. Nothing for you! And if you search resolve package not found on Stack Overflow, there's all kinds of answers. And they're surprisingly useless in this case. Most of them are saying to install Condaforge or not really addressing the root problem. I want to show you the root problem because this deals with anything. If you're particularly dealing with getting TensorFlow working on a Mac M1 or M2, this absolutely applies. So let's quick look at root of the problem. So if you go to a package like TensorFlow on Condaforge, you'll see down here that there are certain platforms that it supports. And that is what that not found error message really means. It cannot find TensorFlow or TensorFlow depths like we're about to see in a moment in your given platform. So for example, if you're trying to install TensorFlow, and your platform, maybe you're in 32-bit world, but if it's not one of these, then no dice. It's not going to install TensorFlow for you. And notice here you have OSX ARM64. The Mac platform, you can have multiple different environments now if you have the M1. So let's quick look at the very first thing you should check if you're trying to install something and it's just not showing up. If you do Python, import platform, platform dot platform. Look at that, we're running x86. So we're running, even though I have an M1 Mac, we're running in Rosetta. It's emulating the old Intel stuff. And you can install TensorFlow in that. That's gonna work. It's going to install the OS X64. So let's look at the one that's really giving you the problem. And this is looking on, on Anaconda. This is under the Apple channel, by the way. That becomes important. We'll see that in a second. And then TensorFlow Depths. So TensorFlow Depths, OS X ARM 64. It's very exclusive. If you're trying to install TensorFlow Depths and, or anything for that matter, and your platform that you printed out is not matching this. Houston, we have a problem. So that is, that's the first thing to look at. And this is the most common issue. And some of the Stack Overflow things will say, go install Miniforge. And yeah, that, that may solve it, but not for the reason. You can install M1 TensorFlow perfectly fine in the Conda environment, which is how I run it. The other thing to look at is your channel. So here, this is the script that I give you to install this if you're working with my course. And people even ask about my script on, on uh, Stack Overflow and they get the wrong answers to it. Uh, I, do, I probably should post a link to this video on there. Here you can see the channels. If I take these channels out, then you're not going to have the Apple channel and uh, TensorFlow Depths only exists on the Apple channel. You have to do a similar thing with PyTorch. So make sure that your appropriate channel is in there and then as the final sanity check, make sure that the channel that you think it's on has the package that you want and that you have the right environment. If those three things do not align, you will not get an install. Nothing for you! Now, how do you fix this? Unfortunately, it's a bit radical. You need to uninstall and basically reinstall your Python environment. And the way to do that that I highly recommend is if you just search on remove Anaconda, this is the one to do here. You want to install that because it's going to remote, remove most of the shreds of, of Anaconda. So I'm going to do this and it's going to install that package. We're going to install it. We're going to run Anaconda clean. We're not going to run the comment. And yes, yes, I mean, we're, we're nuking this bad boy. Uh, so is taking it completely out. Now, if you need x64, you need Intel, and you need Conda that that works with AMD 64. Oh, come on, computer. I'm almost done recording. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. We, we, we now follow the next part that it says to do is remove these. Now, if you're doing Miniconda, 
which I do, these are for Anaconda. So the user, it's basically nuking every spot that that could possibly live. I like Minaconda, but you can use Anaconda. I like the stick shift. You might want the fully automatic, which is Anaconda, where it just gives you everything. I like to pick what I want, but here, this is the important thing. And I like the package, unless I'm gonna automate things and I want bash, but I'm gonna download the package. That downloads quite quickly. Okay, run this, we're installing. Yes, all right, good. So yeah, throw it away. Don't use your same terminal window. We're in here, so let's do Python. Spell it right, import, platform, platform.platform. Alleluia, we are, we're on ARM. I think I called that AMD earlier, but ARM 64. So now that that's installed, we can run something in like, uh, it, like if we do conda minus C, Apple, TensorFlow, bat in a thousand, kind of install. This doesn't work, I'll cut it out of the video. All right, you're you're going, and now it's, now it's gonna do it. And this is part of what you would need to install for your M1 Mac. I put a link to my complete installation video in the description so you can check out the entire install if you want to. If this was helpful, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. Give it a like too. Smash the like button, isn't that what they say?